Hey everybody, Mike Johnson here with WWE's newest SmackDown star, Carmella. So, uh, first pay-per-view this weekend. Yes. Been on the brand a couple of weeks now on the main roster. No pressure at all tossed at you in the last <laughs> month. How are, yeah. you, uh, how are you dealing? Is, have, you, have you mentally caught up with the, uh, the changes? I have not caught up with it yet. I mean, I've been saying I've never even wrestled on a takeover before in NXT. Oh, that's true. Uh, I've been with the boys on several takeovers, and but I've never had my own match. So to know this is my first pay-per-view, and it's at SummerSlam, it's mind-blowing. And I'm really, really excited for the opportunity. And in New York, which plays into the whole Princess of Staten of Island Of course. Thing. We're in New York, the best city in the world. Amen to that. <laughs> um... So, obviously, big transition for you. Uh, we got to see a lot of you on Breaking Ground. Bay Mella for now. <laughs> no more. Bay Mella uh, for life. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> She's still down in NXT for now, and you're, you're up here. That's okay. Um, you know, obviously, a lot of transition. Uh, talk a little bit about what it's like uh, integrating into the new women's locker room and uh, what the just what's the biggest lessons to be learned and to be caught up with the d difference between NXT and the main roster? So, I guess the biggest transition for me right now I was kind of a veteran in the NXT locker room so now of course I'm a, a, a big old rookie here it's like they like reset the game so totally um, but the only the really good thing is I know all the girls in the locker room because they're all from a NXT <laughs> basically uh, the only one really that isn't is Natalia and she's been very helpful and so so nice to me as well so uh, it's really been pretty cool to just know like I know all these girls so a big part of the bra the draft this time around was the talents being picked out of NXT. So what's that moment like for you, and what's your first reaction? Is it like, where am I going? Who do I go? Where do I go? Do I go to the performance center tomorrow? Right. That they revoked my I, privileges. I didn't even know what to do. So uh, like, uh, once my name was called, like you know, you did a couple interviews, and then it's like, okay, see you later. And I just went home like it was a normal night, and I'm like, uh, what do I do now? Do I go to work tomorrow? And what is what's going on with my life? You did know. Did you go to the performance center yes, the next day? Yes, I did. Day? Actually, I went to the next. I think that was a good choice. The next day. Of course, I did. They're like kicking me out of there. Go home. Uh, uh, no, but it's it was uh, it was really such a cool moment, yeah. So what? Um, obviously, with SmackDown being live, totally different element from NXT. Uh, what's the what's the nerves like, and what's the learning curve there like for you? You know what's really funny is I had my very first live match a week ago, <laughs> and that was against Natalia. That was my debut match on SmackDown Live. I've never never had a live match, so. Uh, to me that was just it, w it was really cool I wasn't really so nervous just because everyone was very laid back about it and it wasn't um, overwhelming you know I went out there and I just got my microphone I did my thing and that's all I can do that's a pretty good show of faith in you from the company <laughs> so one last question then we gotta let you go um, what's your advice for the women in NXT now? Because I think they're in a transitional period. A lot of new women trying to find their ground the way you did, the way Bailey did, a lot of, of What's your advice for them as they find themselves as performers? My advice for them would to just be keep working hard, honestly, and just know that, uh, you know, we had a talk with one of the writers once. Um, uh, Charlotte, Sasha, Becky, once they went up, it was almost, it's time for me, Alexa Bliss, uh, you know, Nia Jax to step our game up because now it's like we have this opportunity and, you know, just work hard and just show that you deserve more opportunities, I guess, because uh, we took those opportunities, I think, and we ran with them. And now Alexa Bliss and I, Nia Jax, we're all up here. And now it's time for the women in NXT, you know, who's going to be the next star. 